Hey, and welcome to Homeschoolology. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a middle schooler all the way down to a preschooler. And on this channel, I talk about secular homeschooling, family, uh, motherhood, and family travel, and everything in between. And today's video, I'm going to be sharing our unit studies for our upcoming homeschool year. This video is a collaboration with Nikki at Blessed Homeschool Mess. So I hope after you're done watching this, you'll head on over to her channel and check her out. She's got some great content for you over there and I will also be linking the playlist here and down in the description and I hope you'll check out all the moms sharing all the great unit studies I know I can't wait to see what everybody will be learning about next year I hope you will head on down and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. That way you'll be able to see throughout the year as we're doing these unit studies how they're going and just more in depth on what the resources we're going to be using and all that good stuff. If you've watched my videos before, you know that my daughter has requested to do the History Smashers books this year for our history. Um, so instead of using a whole history curriculum or going, you know, on a timeline, we, she wants to, she really is, loves these History Smashers books. I love these history semester books. They're really great. There are seven in the series. Um, we've already done the women's rights one, um, so that one we won't be doing. So there are six other books that we will be using this coming year. And I've already shared about the Titanic unit study that we are going to be doing. So <clears throat> I um, will link that video here and, of course, down in the descriptions. And that includes all the resources that I'll be using. Mostly I found um, a website of a teacher who does this in her classroom, and she had so many great resources. And that's basically what I pulled together, teacher paid teachers, some things from her blog. Um, and that is all linked in that video. So head on over and check that out if you're interested. We are so super excited about this Titanic unit study. We had hoped to start it already. We kind of did. We went to Molly Brown's house um, in uh, Denver, Colorado when we were on our vacation and I have a video coming up on that soon. Um, so we kind of started it already but we're really excited to div dive deep into the Titanic unit study that is coming up. So after we finish the Titanic we're going to move in to um, probably the Mayflower, which is a um, link right here. I haven't set that one up yet, so I don't have a lot of resources to share with you on that one yet, but we're going to be sharing our, our learning about, you know, people coming to this country. Last year we spent a lot of time talking about um, the, you know, signing of the Declaration because we went to Philadelphia and that's kind of the birth of the country. So we are going to take, you know, a step back and learn about the Mayflower and learn about people coming over here, why they came over here. Um, so I, as I um, start setting that one up more, I'll be sharing those resources here for you. And then after the Mayflower, we're probably going to move into the American Revolution. The History Smashers has the American Revolution. Um, like I said, we've talked about it a little bit before. Uh, we spent a lot of year talking about, a lot of last year talking about, you know, early American, you know, America becoming America. Um, and so we talked about the American Revolution a little bit, um, and we went to a Civil War reenactment, which is not American Revolution, but, you know, we spent some time talking about war and what war was like back in those times. Um, so I'm excited to get that book and start, you know, talking a little bit more in depth about that subject as well. Again, I haven't gotten that together yet, but as I do, I'll share them with you. Uh, and then we're going to move into the Underground Railroad. So we visited a plantation in Louisiana on our way home, and it was a really great experience, and it was super well done as far as the recreation of what life was back um, what life was like back then for both the people who lived in the main house and the people who worked the farm, the enslaved. And so it has kind of sparked some interest and it was the first time, um, it's not the first time I've mentioned it before, but it was the first time it really stuck in my daughter's head, um, what the Underground Railroad was, um, and, you know, how it was used and how it functioned. So I'm really excited to kind of get that book and really give her much more in-depth information about that time period and what happened there. Um, and then we're hoping, my friend lives in New Orleans, so we're hoping to go back when it cools off, because let me tell you, boy, was it hot in June in, in New Orleans, but, 
Um, and we're hoping to go back there and visit some more plantations. My friend suggested one that was um, much better as far as like the detail that it had on the enslaved. Um, and so we're really excited to go back there, check that out again, and learn more about that. So we'll have that one coming up. Then we'll be learning about Pearl Harbor. The book is about Pearl Harbor. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take that, you know, one single event and expand it into more World War II. I was at Costco the other day and I picked up this book. It's the Atlas of World War II. And it's like all maps of what um, you know, what happened during World War II, where how troops went, how the countries were, you know, where battles were won, where battles were lost, and it just looks like a really, really great book. Um, and so this was a good find to add to our History Smashers book, um, and we'll, it's going to also tie into one of our other unit studies, which is geography, and I'll talk about more, more about that in a minute. So, um, we are going to tie in a little bit of World War II. Uh, when we're learning, when we're using that Pearl Harbor History Smashers book. And then the last one we're going to cover is Plagues and Pandemic, which is obviously very timely um, in what is going on in our world today. And so we're going to learn about that. I haven't actually like looked into what plagues and pandemics it's t it talks about in that specific book. Um, so I don't know if we're going to talk about you know, like medieval and the bubonic plague and things like that, or what we're going to talk about there. Um, I haven't done a ton of research on that part yet because it is my last unit study and I'm just not there yet. Um, but that is what we're going to be learning about and I'll see how that fits in into our history timeline there. And then that is it for the History Smashers. That's what I'm going to be doing with my oldest daughter. Sometimes my middle daughter will join in on some of that, um, reading, you know, some of listening to the read alouds or doing some of the activities. Sometimes she won't. It all depends. Uh, and then my younger ones will just kind of be in the room. So if they pick up something great, and if not, we're going to cover all this again as they grow older. So mostly those are for my oldest daughter, who will be in seventh grade. Then we will also be continuing our fairy tales unit study and I have a whole video on this um, linked here and I'll link it down below in the description. We've been doing this uh, for a year, almost a year, I guess, not quite a year. We started into the school year last year. We're year-round homeschoolers so it's hard to, we don't ever start and stop things um, at the same time so I don't remember exactly. but. Um, I have a whole video linked on this and we are just loving this fairy tale unit study that we're doing. Um, so we will be continuing that as well. And then um, we are tying those fairy tale unit studies into our uh, world history or world history, <laughs> our world geography unit study that we're doing. Um, it, we've been doing it pretty much every week right now. Um, with my new schedule, I think we're gonna be moving that to um, less frequently. I think I'm gonna be doing some loop scheduling next year, which I have a video coming out on later. Um, but we're gonna be continuing our world geography unit study. I'm considering it a unit study because we're, you know, t learning about one country at a time um, and doing it in small little chunks. So it feels more unit study to me than course. Um, and I have a whole video on that one as well, linked here, linked down below in the description with all the resources that we'll be using um, in that or that we've been using and will continue to use because there are a lot of countries. <laughs> we still, which Europe is one of the most um, has the most countries and so um, we're still in Europe but we're wrapping up Europe I think there's only a few more countries for us to go over and we'll be moving on to our next continent so we're excited about that um, the only other things that I am going to try to fit in as far as unit studies is for years I've been trying to do a Thanksgiving unit study and we started a little bit last year I'm hoping to continue with that this year Build Your Library has a Thanksgiving unit study. Um, that is kind of what I'm using. Um, also, uh, Five in a Row, which I used to do when my youngest daughter was really, really little, had one as well. And so I'm kind of pairing those two together. Um, five in a Row is not secular, just for those of you who 
um, our secular families. Although I do think it is a great program um, and worth looking into if you like that style of tying a bunch of subjects together. I think it was a very useful way and it was lap books. And my, my, when my daughter was little, she loved lap books. They're, that is a fun program, but it is not secular. Um, so we'll hopefully be working, continuing our Thanksgiving unit study this Thanksgiving um, and learning about the real history behind Thanksgiving um, and not, you know, kind of what we've, you know, been taught it was. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And then for years I've been trying to do um, a unit study for Christmas. My children's main genealogy is uh, Polish, Irish, and Norwegian. Um, my family's Norwegian. My husband's family is half Irish, half Polish. Um, as their main genealogies and so I've been for a long time wanting to kind of learn about the Christmas traditions from each of those countries from their heritage um, and it just that time of year we all know how that time of year is it just kind of hasn't happened up until this point so I'm really hoping since we're learning about geography and we're going to be learning about those three countries specifically during our geography unit study I'm hoping I really do um, get to that this year because I think that would be really fun for them My my kids love to cook so I know we'll be using you know traditional recipes from that time period their grandmother is Polish and still um, has a lot of those Polish recipes so I'm hoping she'll be able to uh, teach those to my girls over the Christmas holiday um, and so I'm excited about that unit study and but I think that might be kind of all for science this year we're using um, real science odysseys astronomy so we probably won't be doing a lot of science unit studies this year which we've done in the past um, so this year we'll be focusing on just astronomy in general as our course um, and so I think that's kind of all the unit studies we'll be doing unless I decide on something at the last minute oh um, we probably will do this year we did kind of a minute unit mini unit study on women's um, history um, and we I did some teacher pay teachers um, activities which I'll link down below they were really fun we only did two out of the packet that I bought and there's two more so I think we'll probably do those other two um, let me see if I can find that for you real quick so it was from Teachers Pay Teachers, and I don't remember the name of the shop off the top of my head, but I will link it down below. But um, it came as a four pack, um, and it was a STEM activity. One of the people we learned about was Grace Hopper. She wrote the binary code system that computers use, you know, the ones and the zeros. Um, and so we learned about her, um, and then we learned about Amelia Earhart this year. And the other um, two was Ruth Bader Ginsburg and one other woman, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But So I bought that packet of four. We only got through two this past Women's History Month, so I think we're gonna cover those other two. And this, I loved. It was wonderful. It came with um, like an information, information packet and an activity to do. Um, they wrote a code in binary code, and it has this great little sign that you can put up in your homeschool room when you're doing it, and lots of other little great things. My kiddos really enjoyed this a lot, so I'm gonna link that down below for you. Um, and so we will probably do those other two. And then I think this year, since we're gonna be covering the Underground Railroad, I'm also gonna to try to, ta to see if they have, I believe that same one, that same group or shop had a Black History Month um, packet as well. So I think I might pick that up and do those as well during Black History Month. So um, those are the unit studies that we are going to be trying out this year. So like I said, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I talk about them here. But also you can follow me over at Instagram um, at homeschoolology. And I do try to post um, as much up-to-date stuff there as well and uh, have conversations about what we're doing over there. So if you want to see more live up-to-date posts, uh, head on over to Instagram. And I believe that is all I have for you guys today. So don't forget to head on over and check out Nikki's channel at Blessed Homeschool Mess. Watch her video and some of her other videos. She's got great content for you over there. And don't forget to head on down to the description and click on that playlist and watch all the other great moms share their unit studies for the upcoming 2022-2023 school year with you guys. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you will stick around and come back and chat with me again soon and I'll talk to you later. Bye!
So before we go any further, I hope you will head on down and hit that subscribe button. So before we go any further, I had you, I, oh my gosh. Okay. So actually, she still loves laugh, laugh books. Actually, she still loves laugh books. <laughs>